Are you dealing with hair loss? Did you know that what you eat may help reduce excess inflammation, which is a known cause of hair loss? There's no quick fix, but I'm here to tell you that nutrition can support you on your hair journey. After being diagnosed with early scarring alopecia, I decided that I wanted to use nutrition to see what I could do to help the, the healing process. Nutrition has become one of my favorite tools um, to help on this journey. And so I'm here to share everything that I'm learning in hopes that it encourages and supports you too. Today we're talking about watercress. Hi, my name is Lynn and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Nourish Your Crown, where we talk about all things to support you on your hair journey. So you know the two things. Number one, you know I have notes, so you'll see me look over there. And number two, the drink today is just plain old coffee. I have some coffee here with some I think it's the Silk Heavy Cream, which is a non-dairy creamer, and a little bit of pistachio milk, which is like a barista version of it. It's really good. I might do a video on that. It's a nice, really good non-dairy milk. So anyway, today we're talking about watercress. So many things that are out of our control when it comes to dealing with hair loss. One of the things that we can control is nutrition. So today we're talking about watercress. And here are a few reasons why it might be a good addition to your meal planning. Number one, it is considered a powerhouse vegetable. Um, number two, it's also, uh, it's a cousin to kale. So if you like kale, you might like watercress. Um, it doesn't, doesn't actually taste like it, but it's in the leafy green family, which is really, really important um, for us to have. Um, then it also, it may be associated with lowering blood pressure, fighting inflammation, and supporting bone health. It's leafy green and it, and the shoots um, can both be eaten, which is really good. Um, it's always important to wash it thoroughly. Just the bunch that I got, I got from Whole Foods. I love, it's so green, it's so vibrant. I actually love that the roots were attached to it. Um, I've had it purchased it before and it was just in the plastic container, which is fine as well, but there's something I think about getting it with the roots attached to it, which is, I don't know, I just like them. So some of the health benefits, and I got some of this information from Dr. Axe and then a couple of other websites. Um, number one, it contains omega-3s. Interesting, I think oftentimes we associate omega-3s with like fish, you yeah. know, supplements. But watercress has a good, uh, has a good amount of omega-3s in it. It also has a variety of phytonutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and has vitamins A, C, and K, along with uh, some other minerals as well. It is anti-inflammatory, which means um, that it fights inflammation, it fights excess inflammation. And there's a study in pharmaceutical biology where they gave watercress extract to individuals, and it's effective in reducing swelling and tissue damage. It fights inflammation at the cellular cellular level. I always have a hard time saying that word. And it can help maintain immune function, both of which are really, really important when it comes to dealing with hair loss. Um, it also can promote a better blood sugar. And it also supports a healthy skin, hair, and nails because it has calcium, potassium, and magnesium, which we've learned are really crucial to the, the, the health of our hair, skin, and nails. It's a little peppery, a little tangy. Um, you can use it in salads, in juices, in smoothies, in sandwiches, and in stir fries. The one thing to keep in mind that there are some risks, as with many things. And so always, always, always before adding any new foods to your regimen that you make sure that you um, check with your doctor. Um, because there's, there is something that I, that I read about if you have thyroid or if you're taking blood thinners, um, you need to really check with your doctor and not just add this to your um, regimen. Used it in salad, primarily in salads. I've never used it in smoothies. And so have you had watercress? If so, what did you think? Or do you think you might want to add this to your regimen? Leave a comment in the comment box and let us know. The other thing is, y'all, I am fresh off the heels of a second bout of COVID. And one of the things, because COVID literally sparks a significant amount of inflammation in your in our body by do, by igniting what's called a cytokine storm leafy greens um, if you can take them are some of the best ways to help reduce that inflammation and so when I say fresh off I mean we just it just left our household this we just 
it's been the last week or so. So I'm going to be really, really intentional about adding even more leafy greens in because of the after effects sometimes of COVID, which if you see my other video, you know that if you have alopecia, um, COVID can be, can trigger another flare up. And so it's important, I know for me, to make sure that I'm adding those leafy greens in. And so this is one way that I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing that. Here's a quick, easy salad that I made um, with watercress, and it was delicious. So I'll walk you through the ingredients and the items. And keep in mind, if you can't have the leafy greens, if you can't have watercress, you can substitute watercress with any of your other favorite vegetables and add all the other sides that I'm gonna talk about and it, it will still be a really healthy anti-inflammatory lunch or dinner. So here we go. Here are our ingredients, all these delicious gifts from God. So we have some greenhouse green lettuce, nothing fancy, some watercress, that's the, the, the wonderful green gift for today. Then some cucumbers, which are anti-inflammatory, great for hydration. Some red peppers, also anti-inflammatory. Chickpeas, which are great in fiber and protein. Some purple onions, red onions, whichever you prefer. Some navel orange slices. Then some cilantro, one of my favorite leafy green herbs, also anti-inflammatory. Orange zest. And walnuts. I toasted these walnuts in a skillet with some of Trader Joe's Green Goddess seasoning and they were delicious. And there you have it. I topped it off with some blood orange olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and some salt and pepper, and that's our watercress salad. So y'all, that salad was delicious. Um, and so if you wanna learn more about foods that can help hair loss, check out this video. Live well, live blessed, nourish your crown, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.